Today is the date we're finally tuning the VBRX on ethanol. We've got Cobb's new flex fuel kit installed and their front mount intercooler. And if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch our previous video. But today we're gonna find out just how much power it makes. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got a bunch of new Cobb parts we just put on our WX, including their front mount intercooler, their flex fuel kit, and we've got their redline intake. But really the purpose of what we're trying to do today is to test our new ball bearing turbo setup. So this car is full bolt-ons, it should make some pretty good power, but now we just need to get a proper pro tune. Mike McGinnis is in town and he's gonna be helping us out with the tune, and hopefully we'll be able to make over 400 horsepower. So I'm Mike McGinnis with Innovative Tuning. I've been tuning Subarus professionally for over 20 years now. Um, out here at IAG doing some contract work for them. R&D on their new turbo for the VBWRX. We're also going to be testing it today with flex fuel for the first time. So we've done a good amount of testing with various different bolt-ons on pump gas. And I am going to start again with pump gas today. But then we're going to be adding ethanol to see how much more we can get out of this. I did read your comments in the last top mount intercooler testing video and some of you were a little bit confused as to how our dyno setup works and whether or not we had a fan. So I do want to point out in this video, yes we do have an intake and an exhaust fan that we run in the dyno room and as you can see this directs air directly to the new Cobb front mount intercooler so it's going to be very helpful today especially since it is pretty hot out, it's close to 80 degrees, it's going to be nice giving the intercooler that fresh airflow. So our power results were uh, 375 horsepower, 377 torque. So really happy with what we're getting, especially for pump gas. This is a huge improvement over the stock turbo. And honestly, the stock turbo on the VB is quite good. It's not uh, as tiny as what they have on the VA. So for a bolt-on turbo to perform this much better than that great stock turbo really says a lot. Really happy with that. Now on ethanol, everything's going to get better as it always does. How much better is yet to be seen. Uh, we're already, you know, approaching 400 horsepower on pump gas, um, and we do have a stock engine in the vehicle, so I am going to be uh, needing to play it a little bit on the safe side with the torque number at least. We'll push it up on the, on the horsepower and see where we end up. Um, fuel system limitations will also come into play, but we're going to play with the amount of ethanol in the car, kind of inch our way up, and see how far we can get. ethanol percentage was at? So it had gone up to about 31 and then I got the car rolling and as the fuel started kind of mixing and evening out, it came back down to about 26.7, which is what we just did that pull on. So what, what are you aiming for on the next round? Right now I'd like to get it right about 30, okay. uh, just to see where we're at on 30 and then we'll work our way up from there. I 
think I'm nearing the end of what we're probably going to see on E30, uh, but really happy with it so far. Um, so we're at about 444 horsepower at the wheels. Uh, basically, we did the run. We used Cobb's uh, low side fuel pressure sensor monitoring function. We could see that the fuel pressure is dropping from 50 60 down to below 40 psi. So, tomorrow we're going to have an upgraded low side pump, and that's going to solve the problem that we're running into at that higher RPM area. And then I'm going to see how far we can get on E50, maybe bump it up to E60 and what we get there. So, we'll see how it all goes tomorrow. Well, that's a wrap for day one of tuning with Mike McGinnis. The new IEG Turbo is really impressive. Nice to see that it's not falling off and there's definitely a lot more in it there. And our limitations today with tuning were not the turbo. It was more related to our fuel system. But I think it's really cool that we're incrementally tuning the car and step-by-step -step seeing what the limitations are of the Dubber X and showing you why these upgrades are worth buying. So with that said, we're gonna let the dyno room cool off a bit because it's super hot in here and we'll be back tomorrow. a whole bunch of fuel and we only went from 59 to 60 percent so i think we'll probably wrap it up at 60. so we got the bb back on the dyno with the upgraded in tank and high pressure fuel pump in the engine bay and that's all both of our fuel pressure drop at this point i think we've got everything we can from the turbo um, in terms of torque i've pushed it you know about as far as i feel really comfortable with a stock motor uh, we're also on a stock transmission at this point and any more than about 400 foot-pounds, uh, even at 400 foot-pounds, can be an issue for the transmission. So, um, yeah, I think we're at a really good point now. If, however, someone had an STI transmission swap, built engine, wanted to try pushing this turbo a little bit further, or really wanted to run full 85% ethanol, uh, then some bigger injectors could come into play. All right, guys, first fill up on the Dubber X now that we've got it tuned on flex fuel. So I get to finally put some ethanol in this thing. And at least we're only paying 269 versus the 93 octane is 389. In the end, it's kind of a break even because you do get worse gas mileage, but I'm still excited to see how the car feels with ethanol. We're back in the Dubber X, this time with the full flex fuel tune. So 450 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna turn the AC off here to see if that gives us a little bit more power. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be the fastest I've ever felt the Dubber X, so I'm really excited to see how it feels. Decent launch. Woo! Holy! Woo! That's fun. I had to shut it down because we ran out of road, but wow, that is fun. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much a wrap on our dyno tune with Mike McGinnis. I do have a graph pulled up showing the difference between the ball bearing turbo, which we tested in this video, the stock turbo, and the journal bearing turbo, which we ended up deciding not to move forward with. 
So it's pretty interesting if you look at the numbers here. The stock turbo made 320 horsepower and the journal bearing turbo made 334 horsepower, whereas the new ball bearing turbo made 375 horsepower. So a pretty significant horsepower gain there, but the most impressive part of the new ball bearing turbo is definitely the torque curve. As you can see, there is a significant improvement in the area under the torque curve itself, and especially in this mid-range here from four to five and a half thousand RPM, there's a noticeable difference. So that's really the area of the power band that you're gonna feel when you're driving the car on the street, since you're not constantly driving it all the way to redline. Of course, we saw the biggest power gains when we tuned the car on E60, and we picked up an impressive 130 horsepower over the stock turbo on similar bolt-on mods. A stock engine producing 450 horsepower is already pretty damn impressive, but there's potential for more like Mike suggested. Now some of you may know IG actually offers a thousand horsepower rated FA24. So if you are looking to make big power with your FA24, this is gonna be the way to go. We also have high flow direct injectors, which provide a 24% increase in fuel flow. So definitely check those out as well. Stay tuned for the release date of the new ball bearing FA24 turbo. For now, we're gonna get some street miles on it to make sure that it can handle the abuse that our customers are gonna give it. So if you are interested in any of the mods we showed in this video, I'll make sure I leave links down below. And if you do wanna get scheduled with a tune with Mike McGinnis and Innovative Tuning, I'll also link to his website there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.